Sounds like a good plan. <laughs> hey, everybody, it's the coach. This is preseason football on EA Sports. Up next, we've got a good one on tap between the visiting Houston Texans and the Atlanta Falcons. With that, let's get up to Atlanta. We're standing by Mercedes Benz Stadium. Our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Dave. Coach, it is a perfect night here in the capital city of Atlanta, Georgia. We've got the roof open and we are ready to go at Mercedes Benz Stadium. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Houston Texans and the Atlanta Falcons. Hello again, everyone. Brandon Gordon along with Charles Davis. And, Charles, we take a look at this Falcons team as they interplay. And I don't think from what we saw down on the field before the game, there's any doubt they're ready to roll. They pass the eye test, don't they? This team looks fired up and ready to play. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Texans, an early season tilt. And when it's an early season tilt, should be ready to roll. Well, let's face it, the aches and pains haven't really set in yet. And both teams eyeing a really good start to get things going. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Huh. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. So out come the Texans for their opening drive. As we take a look at the starting quarterback, Deshaun Kaiser, the man who hails from Toledo, Ohio, and of course played his college ball at Notre Dame. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. And let's take a look at the Texans offense. With DeAndre Hopkins, I think anyone is calling plays for him has zero limitations. And what I mean by that is he's a guy who can move outside. You can move him inside, play him on the left side, on the right side. It doesn't matter. Some guys, they have to have the ball in a certain spot. Not Hopkins. Long, short, intermediate. He just wants the football. And then after that, he usually does some pretty good damage with run after catch. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Here's the first carry for Austin Eckler. And he'll get about three as he takes this up near the 25. And here now the defensive starters for Atlanta. Many people thought Keanu Neal was overdrafted by Atlanta, but they saw his talents and knew that he would fit their scheme perfectly. A hybrid player can play deep in the secondary as a safety, can drop down into the box and also make a lot of tackles, and at times can stay on the field and serve a linebacker role as well. On third down, Kaiser. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And this will not get close to... I'm coming. I couldn't really... Yeah. Mm-hmm. First down marker as he's brought down at the 26. 
There's an example of good situational football being played by a defense. They understood what the third down play was, the down and distance, and made sure that they didn't get anywhere near that, bringing up fourth down. Yeah, they were sniffing out that marker, didn't want to let him get close to there, and now a likely three and out to start. Yeah, I love the way they rallied to the football and got to him and made sure he didn't give up much run after catch. <laughs> on fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. Uh, I get about 12 minutes. And this will be taken at the 13. And when it's said and done, it's a 58-yard punt. And the Falcons will get it first and 10 from deep in their own territory. Take this up only to about his 18-yard line. Benardrick McKinney there to make the stop. Here now the offensive starters for Atlanta. It's real easy to express how much you love about Julio Jones' game because when you watch him perform, you see a little bit of everything. You see speed, you see strength, you see the power with the run after catch. But what you don't see is the work he puts in during the week, and you also don't see this. A number one receiver, one of the best in the league, that doesn't act like a diva. Here's second and eight. This one complete to Mohamed Sanu. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That one covers 29 yards, first down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Uh, wait until I'm not getting attacked, and then I'll pick it up. Down. 90 Wolf. Check 55 to the mic. No chance. Oh. Mike, Mike, 55. Check 55, Mike. Hey, what's the point? They'll look to throw here on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Haynes. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. It's a gain of 16. First down, Falcons. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage. And that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area. So you make curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. And a look now at the defense for Houston. Jadeveon Clowney was the number one pick in the NFL draft, and it was with good reason. An absolute athletic freak. Now he's trying to add consistency to his game. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They're going to look to throw. And this is caught. It's Greg Olson. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. And the Texans have an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. He'll look to throw. It's caught. Jones. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 17-yard line. 
How about the start throwing the football? Four for four on this opening drive. Oh, he's slinging it. And oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard, not necessarily accurately. In this case, though, He's honing in on his targets, and he's delivering. Yeah, the opening script, however, they drew it up for this first drive, going to plan so far. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And finding the tight end, Hooper. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. That throw good for four. It's second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Second and six. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. Whitney Merciless showing no mercy. Flies in for the sack. Enough takes to start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Ninth play of the drive hey, coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. He'll look to throw. This is caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I think it all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money <laughs> throw right there to move the sticks. <laughs> On the set. Watch it Mike. Check, check. Watch it before. Watch it before. It's our field. It's our field. Hey, it's our house. What city is that in? They'll try to run with Hunt. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Kareem Hunt taking it in as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Uh, now we get to turn it all loose. You don't. You have Christian McCaffrey. Sitting now to kick this one away, yeah, man. and off it goes. Fielded about a yard deep. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Texans offense now, they get set to head back onto the field. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion. Guy's a little I bit jumpy. Oh, you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. Just like <laughs> us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three and out. And now have that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. <laughs> Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Now Kaiser. Oh, nearly picked. That may be lucky there. This guy doesn't drop many defensively. Third down. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. 
From the shotgun, it's Kaiser. And Rudolph has it, the tight end. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. I have to speak to somebody first. I don't know who. Here's Sam Martin now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. This is taken at the 15. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. Now they'll be looking to duplicate the efforts of drive number one that resulted in seven points in this seven-zip lead. Well, you know how much I enjoy horse racing, right? Looks like they caught a flyer out of the gate, as they would say, when you're running the big-time races. It means they get out to a fast start. They're setting the pace, making the other team chase now. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> now it's the backup, Rivers. That's complete to Taylor Taylor. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face man. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. On first and 10, Rivers. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon <laughs> touchdown. As his guys are in... What? Why is my controller disconnected? It's still on. <laughs> oh my god, stupid. For six, and the Falcons push further out in front. No, because I threw it. I know, right? It was the worst, and Greg Olson with the lead block. <laughs> You're a little behind. <laughs> Bryant now to tack on the extra point. <laughs> and it's good to make it 14-0. Uh. And we can break that scoring drive down pretty easily. One play, a long better. touchdown pass uh, into the end zone. Oh, number one, he's a rookie. Or, no, Fielded he's about a, a yard deep. But he's actually a wide <laughs> and he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. And now out comes Houston. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early. Probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. The goal of a wide receiver screen is to get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. He sets oh. to fire deep. What about no, do you not understand? <laughs> and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Looking to throw. Picks. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. Well, the crowd doesn't like that. Was going to bring up go. fourth. Now it's first. <laughs> they don't like it at all, do they? It brings them back into it. 
but really not in a positive way. Now they're angry. That can jangle the team a little bit as well. Pass interference ruined that series of death. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Wow. Down he goes. Emmanuel Agba. He's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. Well, someone's been up to the task so far in this game. They are already up a couple of scores, Brandon, and guess what? I think they're just going to pin their ears back hey, you're now right and get up field and get after the quarterback. <laughs> been such an impressive oh. first half to get that lead. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Back to throw. Picks. He completes this into the hands of Miller. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. It'll be a pickup of just two, and they're going to be staring at a third and long here. One though. <laughs> Throwing on third and long. Hicks. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23 yard line. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Well, you can see what they wanted to do. They wanted to set up the screen there, but it got blown up. It's hard to run that play if you're not getting a lot of pressure at the quarterback because the space doesn't open up. They were able to read that one and slow it down and stop it before they could get a first down. Taking it about the 16. Big time return there, 40 yards. And the Falcons are set up well to begin their drive as it'll begin in enemy territory already. They'll run with a backup. This is Williams. It's a gain of 11, and the Falcons pick up the first. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Faces of machine. From the 32 now, here's first Ryan's and 10. Weird dude in the red suit following me. Watch the screen! Watch the screen! They'll run it with Williams. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. The last run got six, now second and four. Rivers now. He finds his man, the tight end Olsen. Greg Olsen. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Falcons push further out in front. Well, it was third and one. I was expecting run so much for that. They pass it, they score it. 
That had the feel of the head coach telling the offensive coordinator, you've got four downs here. We're going to go for it on fourth down unless there's a disaster on third. Go ahead and take a shot if you want to. And he gratefully accepted the opportunity and did exactly okay. that. If they didn't get it there, that had the feel that they would come back and try it on fourth down. Nope. He will not go to the bank. Oh. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Out comes a Houston offense as they get set to take over here. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here. But you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Let's go. Clear. <laughs> Now a handoff here to his running back. <laughs> and he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. That was a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. You're stuck with me in this booth. And he's miles away and smiling. And happy. Longitude. You've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Here's a second and seven. He gets it to Thomas. And oh, he sheds a tackle. Now he's got some space. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. That's good for a Texan first down, a 12-yard pickup. Looking to throw. Hits. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. They came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Miller. And he's over midfield and into Falcon territory. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts. As he'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. This drive is turning into an extended one. And, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. From the gun on third down, Hicks completes this to Waring. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. From the gun, Hicks. They'll find Miller. That's complete. Ten yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. 
He's going to find his running back. It's complete. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. On first down, Hicks complete. Smith has it. And a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. The Texans going to signal for their third and final timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. So on is Matt Prater now to try a field goal here. From the left hash, it's a 36-yard attempt. And the 14-year trusty veteran able to knock it through. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So the three points here, they're still down, but they put somewhat of a dent into that lead going into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know that they're going to need a little bit better effort in the second half. Prater now will send it away following the main field goal. This one fielded at the five. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way just up like to about the 35-yard line. It just joins the list of things that I like. Okay, bye. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something they feel is somewhat safe that might actually pop and turn into a big play. That's what you usually run in this situation. Or go four verticals because why not? Because you're feeling it, right? You're just feeling it. <laughs> Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. So we have reached halftime in our first preseason matchup of the year. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. In our game, most of the starters have made their cameo and departed, but plenty of youngsters out there with a lot to gain or lose as we get you right back out to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Probably not likely to see many starters in the second half as we get back at it underway in this preseason opener. This one taken from the seven. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Atlanta now coming out on the field. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half nice first half that we've had guys but be prepared for some change-ups we're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half see how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively that's well right side is complete here on the first play of the drive and he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down a good pick up there, 26 yards. A nice little completion there by Philip Rivers. And you and I were reading the article yesterday, fifth grade. Rivers had to do a project where he had to make a poster about his dreams and aspirations. So he clipped out a football player from a magazine article and pasted his face on the helmet. That's what he wanted to be, and it turned out okay. Not so bad. Not so bad at all. Remember, he's the son of a coach. And on that play, I think he made the old coach proud with that completion. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Rivers incomplete on first down. Here's second and ten. We got three. We got three, fellas. We got three. <laughs> They'll run out of the gun here. Williams. Not much there. Maybe a couple as he's taken down at the 40. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stop that one for a short game. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. Oh, he's got a man wide 
wide open, complete. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 18. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. To throw, Rivers. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Cordero Patterson, the one he was hoping to get it to. That'll bring up second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Throwing again, Rivers. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sack back of the 29. And here the pressure from the outside linebacking spot. And normally when that happens and they're able to get home, that means the other guys on his team helped him out a lot. That they occupied people to allow it to be no less than a one-on-one -on -one situation allows him to get home. Watch the screen. Third and long for Rivers. That's complete to Jake Butt. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Whitney Merciless, his second sack of the night. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, they took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts. To try again after the sack, Rivers. That is incomplete. This defense trying to do its part, active hands on that play, but their offense hasn't given them much to work with. So they're not going to worry about it. On their side of the ball, all they're concerned about, can they create some scoring opportunities and help out that offense? Here's Rivers. And he's got it. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. A terrific job there to keep him out of the end zone. And now it'll be fourth and goal. Boy, they had a lot of real estate to make up there, but what a big-time play for them. Nice completion, excellent game. Now they're fourth and manageable. Just a little short, though, with that marker. So put another three on the board. All things considered, a good opening drive to begin the third quarter. And as a defense, the way that this game is going, you're excited to see those points go on the board. Gives them a little bit of leeway to play with when they're out on the field, but they're real excited to see their offense score. Now they get to go out there and do their part. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here's the Texans' offense now. They get set to start this third quarter. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. They get this to Smith on the jet sweep. Oh, it's out. Smith lost it. And the Falcons grab it. There he goes, left side. And he gets in. Touchdown, Atlanta. Huge, huge play by the defense, not only to force the fumble, obviously, but to return it for a touchdown. And I know it's no fun for anyone who plays offense, but isn't it fun to see how a defense rallies when there's a fumble return and everyone tries to find someone to block and bring it all the way home? I always like their celebrations because they don't get there that often. No, they're not choreographed very well, usually. <laughs> Bryant tacks on the extra point, and that'll increase their lead to 28. Uh -oh. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. Fielded about a yard deep. 
And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And now out comes Houston. And that last possession, really a gut punch. You seemingly had it working. You were in the midst of a very strong drive, and suddenly the fumble, and you're watching the back of a defender's jersey as he brings it all the way in the other direction. There's not much more I can add to that. I thought you summarized it perfectly, partner. You just got to regroup and start putting another drive together. That's all you can do. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on no, first down. For me, I call that play a success. For me, a nice 70 to 90 run strong, sets up right? a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. You better be afraid of me. You better go. Second and five. It's caught. It's Miller. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. 60 Pittsburgh. Right here. Check. 22 Jet Bomber. 22 Jet Bomber. They'll try to run for it with Miller. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll run with Miller. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. On second down, here's Miller. And he puts his head down and gets up to 42 for a gain of about six. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. From the gun on third down, hits. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Third down turns to first with that five-yard pickup. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn Find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed, picking up the first. Come on, set. 60 out, Law. 55. Watch the slip. Watch the slip. Snap. On first and 10. Hits. Looking left side. It's complete. He's got it. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. For me, it's, they call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. Back now here on EA Sports. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. Draw play. This is Miller. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Strong right, strong right, strong right. Looking to throw on second down. Picks. And this one complete to Smith. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. This quarterback now 13 of 15 passing. That's good for 87%. It's first and 10. Back to throw. Picks toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden the secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 13-yard line. This quarterback now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. Looking to throw. Picks. This will be caught just inside the ten. Yeah, oh, loose football. The ball comes out, and the Falcons grab it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. 
You know, if this is the regular season, Parker, we'd be talking about just how costly a mistake that was, but probably good for him to get it out of his system right now. Just hope for him and the team it's not a sign of things to come. Yeah, without <laughs> That's a doubt. Plus, street, gotta worry about <laughs> making the team. Those types of errors don't help you. <laughs> yeah, because I'm, I'm streaming on the Xbox. Showed a good move, but quickly corralled just beyond the 10-yard line. <laughs> give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. <laughs> Again, it's Williams. And this time, not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. On third down, Rivers. And he finds a man. It's Olsen. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. Last play, they got stuck at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now, still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need to do this? Just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win. But as many people pointed out to me, it's a video game, man. Go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. Exercise those fingers. 14 yards there on a Falcon first down. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of their yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. Didn't pick up another first down with that run. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Atlanta. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellows up front in order to bring this one home. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Line of scrimmage to the 31 now on first and 10. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. It's a gain of 11, and the Falcons pick up the first. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play oh. is called. They are hitting <laughs> I don't know what he's at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. From the red zone now, Rivers. Flushed out right. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. Rivers incomplete on first down. Here's second and ten. To throw again. Rivers. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sack back of the 29. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. Now Williams. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Give him eight yards on the carry, and that's going to bring up fourth down. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? This will be taken in at the one. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in a game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, 
I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. To throw on third down. Hits. And that is incomplete. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. Let's go. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. And checking the timeouts, they do have two defensively, but no real need to use them as they're not going to be able to stop the clock after that. Williams. And he stopped immediately there. Credit the tackle to Peter Kalambayi. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Now a tenth carry. Here's Williams. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And it would appear he's going to be short of a first down as he stopped right around the 29. So time runs out. It's a victory for the Atlanta Falcons. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, Very whatever good. it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. Yeah. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. Well, obviously I'm not, Brandon Gordon. Can't do You've it. been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Right. It's a win for the Falcons here as we say so long from Atlanta. Does anybody know? They just don't like you. Some milk. I am an asshole. <laughs> <laughs>